Now then, welcome to Race to the Moon. This month I've set for myself a race to get to the moon. This mod pack that I'm using is created by Magic Dad 76 Links will be in the description. Now then, welcome back to day four of Race to the Moon. In the modded Minecraft monthly challenge, or the monthly modded Minecraft challenge, one or the other. We've recently set ourselves up with a decent setup. Uh, we've got some birch and oak saplings that aren't growing, it seems. And we've got some bad guys. Is this actually going to... That's not going to do any damage, is it? Oh, no. So this guy is not going to take damage from this sword. No, he's not going to take any damage from this sword. He's just going to get knocked back. So I'm going to have to use my pick. Because Magic Dad decided to nerf all of the non-tinkers tools and weapons. Oh man, he just gave me a, an effect. What was that? Effect? He just gave me made me feel bad. Wow, the plague zombies. So much health. So much health. Yeah, have a sword. <laughs> Alrighty, okay. So I'm slowly but surely running out of food as well. Um, my food levels are down to this little bit here. I've got enough to last me a little bit longer yet though. Uh, but today, oh dang it, there's an ogre over there. Oh, I was going to be out here today. I was going to do something out here today. But I may consider changing my mind. I've got to level up my tools. That's a, that's a thing that's important today. I've got to level up my tools. I've got to get to redstone level. I can't really do a lot of anything without redstone uh, in my tool levels. So we've got a bit of copper here. This is a copper shovel, so I'll take that. A bit of copper there. That bit of Galactic Craft copper there as well. Throw that in there. Um, yeah, so I need to very quickly mine up an area. And you know what we did last episode with the vein miner? Well, I figured that might be to my advantage overall. I figured I might have an advantage there now because of, well, being able to blast through large areas of things. Uh, let's take the pears. So I've got some more food supply. That's going to be to replenish my stock on these things so that I can repair them quickly. And everything else can disappear for now. Uh, that can go in there as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good to go out and do some stuff today. These things are now no good to me at all. I was using them earlier, early game, but now the rules have changed slightly in the middle. Uh, it's getting close to midday, so we've got plenty of the day left. What I want to do, what I want to try and achieve, uh, is find a little area, I'm going to say over here. Find a little area over here somewhere, and try and start mining out an, a large area. I'm going to need lots of materials, lots of good stuff. And I'm just going to stay far enough away from my base so that it won't affect me too much having it over here. And I'm going to do things like this. Grabbing a ton of materials by just digging straight down using vein miner. Uh, that's already killed that shovel. Oh, great. Okay. Let's take that. There we go. And wow, that leveled it up fast, didn't it? Look at that. Okay. It, it, it killed it, but it leveled it up fast. That's what we want to see, though. There we go. Look at that. Clearing out large areas, getting tons and tons of materials, but using up the copper fairly rapidly as well. So, yeah. And that's a way down. Look at all these materials that I'm getting, though. So, it's a very quick way to dig out areas and level up tools. And that is what we like to see. So then I can get to these materials a lot faster in theory. Let's uh, take all of that in one go. There we go. Thank you. And pop a couple of these out of the way. There we go. Right. So, yeah, I want to pick a spot and I want to mine it out fairly rapidly uh, so that I can level up this pick pretty rapidly as well. So if I stand on a block that isn't stone and then vein miner the stone beneath my feet, look at that. Check that out. I'm starving to death, but still. Okay, I'm not starving to death anymore. Give it up. That's going to be the big issue is starving to death, right? Starving to death. 
But it does mean that I can dig sort of like a hole almost straight down from here and then uh, kind of use blocks that aren't going to get mined to build a rig around it, like stairwells and stuff, to hopefully make sure that I've still got a safe place to be when it comes down to it. Uh, hopefully. Uh, that needs a regen now. So I'm getting through a lot of these uh, coppers and things as well now. Look, yeah, getting through a lot of stuff because of doing that. But it has leveled it up to boosted bronze level of mining very quickly. So there's that. That's to my advantage now, to my advantage. Uh, having very little food and having very little inventory space is to my disadvantage but having the ability to level up my tools very quickly is to my advantage and i've got to get enough copper out of it to replace these tools and uh, update these tool levels a bit as well i think i've got a um i think i've got a head in here somewhere haven't i yeah i've got a skeleton head Let's see can i upgrade this with a skeleton head i'm going to need to repair it first don't i so only got one to do. There we go. It's done. Can I repair it with that? No. Can I add it to the tinkers through here? There'll be a, a level increase, but it'll probably be the next level. Yeah, okay. So I've got bronze now. I'm ready to boost to the next level. So what is the next level that I can make out of materials that I've got? I don't have a lot of materials, do I? I'm going to smelt up my copper now and get that all smelted up that looks good yep molten copper there that's good and i'm going to need an ingot cast so let's get an ingot i don't want to use copper let's use that one iron ingot up and let's cast from that some aluminium brass cast that there we go and now that's good for casting the copper yeah so now i can get six more copper out of that uh, so I need to I need to destroy a huge area of land. Now I've taken all the dirt out. That's good. It's a good start. Uh, and we got some more coal out of it, some more flint out of it. Not really a great deal of everything, is it? Not really a great deal. But it is leveling up my pick. So my pick is now the higher level, so I can go down and get some higher higher level goods like tin. So let's uh, let's work on the mine shaft down now. I did have some uh, I did have some stairs somewhere. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Okay, and I can focus on getting these kind of things next up. Let's take this out. Here we go. Make it a nice easy route for me to uh, continue this quest down into the depths, and hopefully. We can get a lot of materials very fast as soon as I've leveled this pick up. Uh, don't need that coal, so I'll block that away. Thank you. And let's go through this way like that. There we go. That's better. Feels better already just doing that. Just that little bit. There we go. And we can get down this way. Look at that. For speed. Speed of digging. Awesome. Okay. Back up this way. This is the kind of stuff that you would normally not see in a video. This is the kind of stuff that I would do behind the scenes to uh, prepare for the next episode. But in this modded Minecraft challenge, we're not allowed to sh uh, skip over any of the bits, any of the juicy bits. Because anything may happen and everything's got to be shown every day. So day four, we're doing a little bit of mining here just to get the area secured and ready for me to be able to mine out a lot faster because once I've got the stairs in I can come down here and do a lot more. See can I get applied energistics now? Not quite. I still need obsidian level for that. Okay well that's okay. That's fine. Uh, and we're good to go down there. There were some materials down here that I needed to get as well that I couldn't get before. I can get this coal now from down here out of the way. And I can get the tin now. That's an important part, getting the tin. And I could get this coal. Thank you. And fill this in just so that I don't get snotted by anything. It is delaying me in time. Yes, I know. I uh, I do take a little bit longer when I'm messing around doing the mining like this. But still, it's a good way to go. We couldn't get that before. Now we can. Look at all this over here. Okay. Fill that in quickly as well. 
Let's go like this. There we go. Keep that nice and secure above my head. Awesome. But now I've got a route down easier as well instead of going around that little bend. That's awesome. And where did we get to down here? Let's take that lot out. There's quite a bit in there. Let's go. Oh man, it went down here. Jeez. Okay. Nothing down here to worry about though. I'll just get to get all the XP for it. Let's get filled in. Mining time with Nemson. And I've run out of cobble. Let's go down here then. Okay. Take this bit of cobble here. There we go. And that's some more tin. Good, good. And get the tin. Let's, uh, let's mine the whole freaking section of tin out. That's good. And that was where my crude oil was. Okay. I'm thinking of starting to make something to hold that crude oil so I can pick it up and get it out of the way because it is in the way currently. So let's see about making a tank to put that in so that it's not going to be there for now. And I've, I've scooped it up then. I've got a bucket, so I may as well scoop it up and put it into a tank and get it out of the way. Uh, what's the next level here? Obsidian level. Okay. It'll be nice to get rid of everything and have a nice stairwell going down. The uh, night time cometh, and we seem to be okay. That's my little quarry over there. It looks okay to me as well. It's good. All right. And how are we doing for this little lot? We've got a problem with copper. Copper's there. It stopped flowing because it melted and did the next bit. Okay, so we'll grab the copper. That'll give me regeneration for my pick so that I can upgrade it to the next level. The next level is bronze, I believe. So I'm going to need to make a copper and tin to make bronze, isn't it? Something like that. I will... Uh, I will process this stuff and then get it done how much more have i got one ingot more okay uh let's leave that one ingot in there like that and uh, uses of copper what can i do with it in this situation uh not a lot but i can make bronze from forestry with tin ingots and copper from galactic craft not copper from the tinkers by the looks of it though only copper from galactic craft have got that particular recipe to make bronze and then uh, Alloy Smelter is another one. Sag Mill, yeah. Ingot Compressor, yeah, I don't need all that yet. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's add some tin to the mix. Uh, all of that, thank you. Smelt that down. How much How much uh, lava have I got? Still got a fair bit of lava. I can go and get some more. Shall I go down and get some more from there? Let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look. While I've got all of my uh, health and well-being, let's go and have a look at the lava pool. Let's see if I can get to it before anything tries to kill me. Uh, it was a long way down here, wasn't it? Long way down, and it wasn't that. It was this way. And I've just uh, un unblocked it a little bit. There we go. Okay, let's see. So, you guys not around. Good, good. There's some copper ore there. That's cool. I get that. There's some tin ore there. Let's grab the tin ore. And there's not many bad guys around, which is also very good. Okay, let's go and get a bucket of lava real quick. Thank you. And redstone. Oh, I can get redstone with this. How come? How come I can get redstone with this? Oh, there's a there's an issue there. I shouldn't be able to get redstone yet. I shouldn't be able to, but I just did. And lapis? Can I get lapis? Yes, I can get lapis. Okay. Well, that's an issue. And the copper. Take all this copper ore out of here. Mine it all back. Thank you. And I'll take this iron while I'm down here as well, then, shall I? Awesome. Okay. And I've got three... Three bits there just to fill that in. Okay. So the only thing I can't get at the minute is the Certis Quartz, which requires an obsidian. Get this tin for me, yeah? Yeah. Get that quick. Awesome. Okay. And then up over here. Gold? Can I get gold yet? Can I get gold yet? No. That requires the redstone tool level to get gold. Okay. No problemo. That's what we wanted. We wanted some more lava for the furnace. That's what we've got. Uh, we've 
started working our way down a little further. That's good. And we've got a plan for leveling up the picks very, very rapidly, very, very quickly to get through to the next level. So now I want to get myself the bronze pick and level that up. And I think I can do that with a skull, actually, if I remember rightly from what I've been doing previously. There's the bronze. Okay, and we've got a load of tin there. Aluminium, brass, bronze. Okay, so in the bronze section, I want to have... Uh, have I got my tool tool head? Where did I just put that down? There, there we go. Should really keep these in the same place. Let's put these in here. Same place so I don't lose them. So I'm going to need some copper to repair. Let's throw all that in there as well. Just so I've got it. Uh, going to need some copper in there. And then we're going to need the bronze pick head. Yes. Okay, we've got that. Good, good. Put the pick head back in there. And then we repair this pick with some copper. And then we upgrade it with some bronze. And that takes it up to the next level. Uh, yeah, okay. And now, in the morning, I should be able to go out and carry on mining out a large area down there. To be able to get lots and lots of goodies. Uh, yeah, I still can't get to that. So, hopefully I can upgrade this fairly swiftly at that point. <laughs> we'll just keep doing a bit more mining. But while I'm mining like this, just nice steady mining, I'm not actually using my food levels up, am I? Which is uh, excellent. Um, uh, I'll, I'll kind of want to... Let's take all that out. I, I kind of want to do stuff like that to clean out areas. But at the same time... I don't want to go too far because of all the mobs that we get lurking around. Uh, let's throw that out the way and let's make ourselves this little run back again that way. Okay, so what have we got around here that I can take as extra, a little bonus? Uh, it's quite quite a large ravine, isn't it? Quite a large ravine. And Yeah, can't do that, so let's take this out of the way. Let's see what we've got over here then. And we've got an area that's dark, unlit. We can uh, check this one out. There's a little section down there as well. What's this? Aluminium. Let's get the aluminium ore. I could use the vein miner again for this, but nope, not doing it. I'm going to get the aluminium ore out of the way. I want that. What's this? Silicon ore. Silicon! Awesome! We found some silicon. That's cool. That means we can do some more processing a bit later on, which is very useful as well. And let's light that side up over there. Okay. Well, it's getting close to the end of another day. I know I haven't achieved too much today, but uh, we are still progressing on the right track. Progressing on the right track. And I've got some raw silicon, which is a very good thing as well. Very useful. Let's, let's go and secure this little section up here. Uh, yeah. How bad is it? Hopefully no bad guys around the corner lurking around. Doesn't appear to be. Seems to be good. Maybe because I'm too close to it for them to spawn. That's good. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There's a few more bits and pieces over there that I've not recognised. I don't know what that white stuff is over there. And there's lava right below me. There's another crystal there though. What is that? That's just underneath the gold. Let's go back down and have a look at that. We've got time just before the end of this episode, so let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, yeah, take that, and also take this little bit of tin while we're over here. Can I uh, get that without falling down? Yes, I can. Awesome. Get over here. Good, good. Underneath the gold, then. Just this way underneath the gold. What is that? Uh, it was down there a little bit, so let's go down a little bit further. There we go. Okay, so what is it? Uh, it is a permafrost. Permafrost. Okay, you dig for bones. Oh, that, that's something that I've... Oh, I've got a skull and all sorts there. That's something that I'm not aware of. That must be something from the archaeology mod. So that's what that is. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, and that is it for this episode. Um, I'm not really exploring. I'm not planning on exploring. I'm just securing a little bit. 
Uh, next episode, we should be going back out, because it's daytime. Should be going back out to the quarry site. So I'll be back very soon, tomorrow, with another episode of Race to the Moon.